You ready? At seven o'clock. You're going to slide those down. To the I'm going to let the horses. Debbie Olsa? Yep. Can we stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. We'll begin with the minutes of the uh, 5 2019 board meeting. We have a motion. Did you get that move? I'm sorry? A second. Did, yeah. I, did Nancy. you get the um, Nancy? Um, yes, I did, but I didn't get a chance to change it. But I have a copy of it. Second by Chris? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you agree that that's going to happen? Well, you know that's what? how I remember it. Okay. I just took it off of what was on the agenda. Oh. That's what I did. Okay. Just because that was what was supposed to be discussed. Okay. I just want to clarify that uh, toward the end of the minutes when I moved to go into executive session, it was to discuss two matters, not the one. Okay. And I only put the, the one. The second one was um, a contract that we had some concerns about. Okay. And under discussion on uh, the second public comment, it's just a typo, Deb. It uh, says he doesn't feel that the lack of compa compensation with the exception read Lack of compensation. Okay. All in favor with the preference and changes? Aye. Opposed? Yes. Uh, public comments. Anyone? <laughs> please. State your name, please. My name is Joy Eliezer. I live at 110 South Shore Road, Lake Pleasant. And I am here at the last meeting on May 20th. The issue of the right of way on Golf Course Road was brought up. And with that in mind, my first question goes to Nancy. Why do you feel it is in the best interest of the town of Lake Pleasant and the voters of Lake Pleasant for the town to retain ownership of this right-of-way property. I have had many of the local constituents speaking to me that they would like to keep it that way, and I agree. Okay, fine. Mike, what's your reasoning? I have had several people approach me on the same matter. Okay, fine. If that's your answer. Now, the second half of my question, okay? I am a constituent. Mm -hmm. I pay taxes. I also pay taxes as a right-of-way owner. Why am I being double-taxed? Would you like to be double-taxed? No, but that is not my position. Okay. Would you like to be double-taxed? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I don't want to be double-taxed either. If the town keeps the right-of-way for this property on Golf Course Road, then I feel that my property taxes should be lowered because I am paying through my property tax. It may only be pennies. I don't know exactly how much it is, but my assessed evaluation is $20,000 more than it would be if I did not have that right of way. Could I ask you? Yes, what? You could always get that off your deed? No, you cannot. Your deed goes with you for as long as you live. Your okay. deed goes with you. That property goes with your deed. Okay, then when you go to sell your property, mm -hmm. don't you think that that would make it more saleable than the property that I own, which doesn't have a right-of-way? But you do have the right-of-way. You can no, use no, that same right-of-way. I'm right talking of way. about a deeded right-of-way that I, I would make why, money on why if would, I would it? Why would it be any different 
joy to have a sale. But well, this is my isn't property. for debate. Okay, this me. isn't for debate. Here are the pieces. This is the property. If I could just say something. Mm -hmm. On the agenda, you'll see under old business, we have uh, our assessor, Dan's <coughs> wife, is here mm -hmm. to explain mm -hmm. the aspect of the right of way and the deed part of the right of way. I think maybe we could continue this part of the conversation in the second part of the public comments. I think okay. you might become enlightened. Okay, so. my third thing, because I have three things. I attended the meeting that we had at the fire hall with uh, National Grid. And National Grid is going to be replacing a lot of the uh, fuses and Insulators. Insulators coming up the Gilman Town Road. We've been talking about um, paving a road that's going over to Hamilton Lake Lodge. We talked about it every year for the last, I don't know how many years. And I brought up before, and I want it stated in the minutes again, that Gilman Town Road is our road for egress when the Route 30 is non-functioning. Gilman Town Road is also the road where our wires come through, not Hamilton Lake Road. Our, we have three lines that come into the town of Lake Pleasant, one of which is up the Gilman Town Road. And if any road, I'm not saying Gilman Town Road needs to be paved, but if any road should be paved, that's the road that should be paved. Not Hamilton Lake Road. Now I'm done. Thank you. Anyone else? Go for it. <laughs> We're working the way front to back. Hi, um, most of you know I'm Sam Rocher. So I'm the youth rec director. Um, I'm coming here today you know, because I have a mostly finished outline for the activities for this summer. Uh, June 9th, which is this Sunday, we will be having a parent appreciation dance. Um, there's going to be a bunch of games, there's going to be snacks, and we're going to do make our own Sundays. Um, our, uh, the official youth rec for this summer will start on July 16th. Um, I have on my line outlined that there will be a hike with trailblazers on July 9th. That's when they are starting their youth rec programs through the county. Um, like I said last meeting, and also tonight, we will be working with Trailblazers this year because most of their programs are for third graders and up. If anyone under the age of uh, eight, eight or nine would like to go, they have to have a parent with them for Trailblazers. Um, July, uh, Thursdays are going to be our trips, so there are a few extra trips added on there that will be going with Trailblazers um, August 1st, or excuse me, August 2nd. It's an extra one, it is a Friday. But that is a trip to the Wild Center with Trailblazers for a Mountain Man presentation. It's going to be very informative and very hands-on, so I thought it would be a really good thing to correlate with them. Um, I had planned on doing two end-of-the-year trips, but Trailblazers will be going to Lake Luzerne for the high ropes and tubing. So I figured that could be the older kids' trip this year. The end-of-the-year party will be on August 24th, and I'm going to have the little kids for the last day go to Billy Bee's. I was going to have them try the tree pad again, but the tree pad has unfortunately closed. So everybody recommended Billy Bee's being a very fun place for us, <coughs> and it also included. Where is that scene? Uti yeah, Billy Bee's is in Utica. And what is it? Oh, it's it's like more. a cross between an amusement park and Chuck E. Cheese all okay. together. Okay. It's got tubes and crawlings and ball pits and games. It's okay. supposed to be a lot of fun. Uh, Sheila Krauss is the one that recommended that. She takes Tessa and Emma there all the time. Okay. Um, every Tuesday, Trailblazers will be doing a hike with the older kids from Lake Pleasant. They picked a day with every single township in the county, and Tuesdays were our days. Uh, Saratoga Museum will be on the 18th. Fort Ricky will be on the 25th of July. The first, excuse me, the first, will be climbing up uh, Pillsbury Mountain Fire Tower. The eighth will be Water Safari. What was uh, that date? I'm sorry. I'm sorry? What was that date you said? For which one? Uh, the one I did. I thought you said the 26th. Oh. 
Oh, I messed my days up. Excuse me. It's supposed to be the 13th, 14th, and 15th, not the 23rd. 13th, 14th, and 15th yes, of August? Yes, not the 23rd. I messed my days up because I was trying to print out my outline and my computer, my printer decided to start smoking, so I had to handwrite it quick before we came. So that should be the 13th, 14th? Then. 15th, yes. Um, like I said last meeting, but I will reiterate it, um, it will be Tuesdays, Wednesdays from 9 to 12, and Thursdays will be approximately 7.30 to 4.30 for our trips. I um, recently took a federal postal job, and I work in Indian Lake now. I'm again asking, um, we need to run the ads for the aides again because we have not had any interest. I'm going to be, I can't guarantee I'll be there every single Tuesday and Wednesday, but I already have every Thursday and every trip day off. So I am there. Um, I'm hoping that we can definitely get AIDS because I really want this to work this year. I'm doing everything that we can. If not, <coughs> I'm hopefully going to still be doing the trips on Thursday so I can at least get the kids out to do something. Um, I'm not sure if the village has some lifeguards. I'm hoping there's going to be able to be lessons again this year. So at least getting the kids to the beach. But like I said, I need um, permission to have Debbie run the advertisement for the two weeks again because we have had nothing. And I'm going to be redoing flyers and putting them up. I did put them up in the post office. In okay, yeah, I, I, put, I put some up, but I okay. put a couple of them were down, so okay. I was hoping. Okay. But like I said, um, I'm doing everything I can to be there for everything. I'm trying to do what I can for the kids, but I have to be able to take care of me and my kids as well as much as I can. And like I said, I will be there for every single trip on Thursdays and the three bigger trips with Trailblazers to share. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> Anyone else? Bill? Anybody else? The show? Oh, come on, <laughs> right, we'll work on this cycle back. No, you go for it. Youth. No? Youth. Yes, sir. First. No. Mark Curry for Trump, please. <laughs> Mark Curry, respect the letter. Uh, I just want to pass along a little story about Frontier Communications. Uh, the Frontier Horror Story, as I call it, that I've been going through for about a month. Uh, last Wednesday, I finally went online, made a complaint with the Public Service Commission. Somebody called me back on Friday from the Public Service Commission. They escalated my uh, my dissatisfaction with the company. Today I received a phone call about 11 o'clock from one of the consumer specialists in Frontier. A half hour later a gentleman from West Virginia called me and I've got my old phone number back that I haven't had for a month. So the Public Service Commission, if you find yourselves, I give them two or three times to either no-show or tell falsehoods or make broken promises. Uh, the Public Service Commission, in this case, really, really worked very well uh, in terms of phone. Internet problems, they refer to the Attorney General's office. Mm -hmm. So, uh, had a pleasant experience today, but it's not over yet, but uh, we're, yeah, we're right 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 direction, yeah. Good for you. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Thank you, Mark. Bill. Sure. I'm not going to jump again. Good <laughs> <laughs> evening, all. My name is William Pestella. I live in the village of Specker. Full time residence. 31 years. My question, probably Randy, you would probably know most of these question answers. I'm answering questions to the council people. Does any people know what the posted speed limit on Page Street is? Know what the what is? Posted, posted speed limit on Page Street is. I don't yeah, think there's a 55. posted. Posted speed limit, so it would be 55. Posted speed limit on Page Street. The law is that any road that is not posted. So you don't know the answer to it, right? Yeah, the speed limit is 55. There are posted. no signs posted. I'm talking. There are posted. no signs posted. Dan just said that. Are you sure there's no signs posted on Page Street? I'm pretty sure. I wouldn't say I'm 100%. Okay. I don't think there are signs on Page Street posted. Yeah. The speed limit is 45 miles an hour. Okay. Both ends. Mm -hmm. So basically, you, you don't understand the speed limit on that road. My main concern is that is 10 miles an hour below the state speed limit. 55 miles an hour. 
we have a state campsite entrance on Page Street. Going into there, we have snowmobiles crossing that state or Page Street, the Town of Lake Pleasant Road is. So, and the other concern is now we have a state campsite, as we all know. And there's a Twigs building there. People come in. We have a camp store. People come in there. I've been close to numerous times of people traveling with trailers, pushing kids off our, our Page Street Road, Tunnel Lake Pleasant Road. So it's an unsafe speed limit. What do you people feel about that? You think it's an adequate speed limit for 45 miles an hour? And I know some of the council people have been addressed to about this problem. So I just want to know. Has this anybody, has this been addressed to you guys? I know some of it has. In my memory, the town board and the town highway superintendent, going back at least to Larry Aird, has repeatedly tried to get DOT to lower that speed limit. Okay, so I'll go with Randy. Does the town of Lake Pleasant post the adequate, what they recommend the speed limit? Does no. the town? The t All right, let's back up just a few steps. This State of New York, yes. DOT, sets the speed limit. We put up the signs in which the state of New York, between the state troopers and DOT, assess the road and say that this road is, travel speed should be the maximum of such. So we get a letter from the state, which will say on all of our roads, mm -hmm. what that speed limit, maximum limit, you gotta remember okay. it's not suggested speed, but the maximum limit, is and that speed on that road is 45 yes even though some of our more open straighter roads are 35 correct mm -hmm. now that being said we've put up extra slow signs so on and so forth they suggest we put up even more okay where is we we then went and put children at play when the old 4-h camp was opened up mm -hmm. Our insurance company said we had to take them down because when you put up a children at play or pedestrians walking, so on and so forth, in the road, not on a sidewalk, but in a road, now you are allowing them to be in the roadway, which now if they get hit, they come back at our insurance company because we put up a children playing sign or whatever. So all those signs came out this spring that were around the 4-H camp. Um, properties. The next step is to put a walkway on alongside that road to at least to the where Stonewall Trail is mm -hmm. up to Moffat's Beach. That would be the cure to the walking and pedestrian bicycles, baby strollers, blah 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 that's on that road. Now we have a snowmobile trail there, full width, whatever. Do we pave it? No, because the snowmobile trail will mess that up. Do we put mm -hmm. gravel in? That is a possibility. So that you're saying the state it. recommends the speed limit for that road? They set that speed limit at 45 miles an hour. Do I have you that. have to guide by it? Do I have to guide by it? I can't restrict can it re more. Can you I can only put down up, it? I can only put up the signs in which they Today. Otherwise, if someone's quote unquote speeding and they find out the state says no, this is the legal limit for that, it wouldn't. It's confusing. <laughs> we don't, so have, you're we seeing, don't have control of how fast people can drive on our roads, in other words. So, the town does not have any say of how we can fast people want to. So, I you have, can suggest. I can suggest to DOT, which we did, we passed a petition last year mm -hmm. for Fish Mountain Road. Tamarack yeah, Road, yeah. Uh, yeah, Pond Lake Road, that. all that. Yeah. We still have not gotten one ounce of letter back from that. No response. Petition that had 50 some signatures on it. They still are in processing stage for that. They received it. We got a letter saying that they received it. And yes. that's where it sits. It's crazy. It's a town road. It's your, it's your babies, guys. It's <laughs> our <laughs> babies. Yes, it's but our they, babies. But, but, they have you're seeing, over the speed but that is... Mm -hmm lovely law, yeah. uh, Bill, highway law. There is, as I understand it, legislation that was introduced into the state legislature during the last session that would turn the speed limits setting of town roads over to the towns. 
and it wasn't acted on in this last session. So the thing to do would be to contact our representatives and push them to do that. Right. And uh, who did the petition go to, DOT? It went to the county. Oh, the county, county then forwarded to DOT. Um, the, the steps of evolution, they have mm -hmm. to, county approves it, then it moves to DOT, and then I believe we the letter that we received back was from DOT stating that they've received it. They have to do an analysis with the state troopers have to come and see what everybody, the median speed is that everybody's traveling. And there's a bunch of so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. And for lack of better words, BS that takes place. And then they talk to DOT and they sent a letter back to us saying what the speed is. Mm -hmm. And that's, uh, I, I just I, don't think 45 miles an hour on Page Street, that's like NASCAR here. Correct. I mean, there's been people, I have friends up on the other side of Page Street, pull out of their driveway, and they're locals. Mm -hmm. And we do not, I could say, I don't drive, you know, the speed limit. We all drive, tend to drive a little bit faster because we're always in a hurry. The world's in a hurry here. So I just like to see this board, you know, I point my view. You guys got notes of it. I don't think it's adequate. It's above, it's an above adequate speed limit on that road for pedestrians, people crossing, snowmobiling, campsite entrance. So, you heard my voice. You guys can go wherever you guys want to go with it. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Well, would you be willing to help with another petition and a letter campaign? Go for it. No, I'm asking yeah. you, would you be willing to help? Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, my mother got the speed limit changed on Route 8 out in Paseco from 55 to 45. <coughs> I curse her under my breath every time I drive through that section. <laughs> um, but that's a state highway, and she got the speed limit lowered because she was a pain in your butt, basically. And that's what it takes. Yeah. That's what it takes is somebody that's just going to be continually on their case. But that's why we, some of us elect you people. Yeah, Why is and it my, I put my in over 500 team. hours last year working on town board stuff, Phil. Well, I put in as much as I possibly can. You're, you're the lucky people. <laughs> well, it's not wrong to ask for somebody who's so concerned mm -hmm. for a little help, you know? We're all in this together, yeah. as you pointed out. So I'm just asking if you'd be willing to carry around a petition and maybe some form letters and pass them out to your friends. I'll yeah. think about it, Chris. Thank you. All right, I'll draw something up and get in touch with you and see if that's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Anyone else? Neil? Well, I guess I have two things now um, because <laughs> Bill's brought that up. Folks are, are passionate about two things in local governance very often, and it's is my street light working and what's the speed limit on my road? Mm -hmm. For those of us who have worked on making Route 30, uh, 30 miles an hour through, and you have to hate mail for it. Uh, you can do it. It is very difficult. Billy may be confused in the fact that he was in village government. Village government is different, and the village sets uh, village street things and no one bottoms up. But because we're towns are, are a, a subcompact of county, everybody has to go up the chain, like Randy explained. Uh, but I agree with you, Bill. It should go down, and maybe we can make that happen. Something that may not be as concerning to others as it was to me was last meeting, Debbie reporting uh, her grave concerns about... Debbie mentioned her grave concerns about something that ended up being a, a gossip uh, stream of questioning her voting. It just struck me wrong, and I asked a few people about it, and some people didn't know. So I waited, I thought maybe Chris might mention it because it, to me it was the, the pulse of that meeting that was the where i looked up the quickest uh, but chris did not put it in her usually very extensive uh reporting on facebook so at that point i i did contact the board of elections and i went down and visited with them um, and they explained to me that, that yes someone did come to look at just one person's voting history uh, and then forced them to give a copy of her application for a uh, for an absentee ballot. Uh, if folks don't find that chilling, that, that you know certainly it's up to them. But this was the 
genesis of the gossip that went forward. Not, as you pointed out, the, you know, somehow trying to snub it out. The point is, both up at the Board of Elections and certainly in my heart of hearts, I saw this as something that should never happen if the goal is to either harass or suppress or to in some way discredit either a candidate or a sitting official. Uh, Dan and I had an exchange of emails today. Uh, he assured me that he did not do it. Uh, he did accede to the fact that his wife had, uh, but that he was not in control of that. Uh, I will let others decide you know, where, that, where, where the veracity is there. The point is, we should all be working together, Chris just pointed that out to Billy, mm -hmm. and not be doing this sort of electoral skullduggery. And I, if, if anyone feels a twinge of guilt, they should. If you don't, I, I worry about where we're going. Let's have the whole story, Neil. Please. When you pointed out to me that I had neglected to put that in, what did I tell you? It was an oversight. And then what did I, yeah, because it was a rumor. Right, you said and it was a rumor. Didn't and didn't even occur to me to put it in. And what did I do? I you said, checked thank it out, you. which was I, great. I, 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 but I, then I, I also you. corrected it on my Facebook page. Yes. But you know, my, my so point I'd be, like I'm not throwing dirt on you for, you can't possibly get everything in from your no. synopsis I of just the like meeting. To These are not the legitimate minutes. They are your take on a meeting. Right. And, and you know, folks that either can't come or don't listen to Declan, this is an opportunity for them. Mm -hmm. I just pointed out to you that it was, it snapped my head back because I really felt this was untoward. So you said, oh, well, you know, I don't, on rumors. So the best thing to do was then to sort of source it out. And that's what I did. Uh, whether you want to put a, a different spin on it uh, is fine. But uh, I asked the supervisor to directly engage it with me. And he basically said it's not his wasn't his deed. Well, some would say when you have family members who have great personal interest in your political aspirations, that this is a bridge too far to believe that, no, this was just, did she go down there to dissuade rumors that were already around? I'll let others decide. Well, can but I add something full to Full error, you're, you're meeting. Um, I did question her on this again tonight, and because of an email that was sent out on 513 saying that Debbie never voted on I don't remember paper sure. ballot. Right, and I didn't. Had to felt my wife felt that this should be corrected. Well, it needed I, again, just just so that. we're just so we're clear. If you have any small uh, knowledge of how this works, I in fact did today get an absentee ballot for myself. Uh, I did vote on it and handed it in because. But I, that's fine. Is, the reason this but, was asked for was be to correct um, an earlier statement. But okay. Again, if you have even the smallest amount of knowledge of state election law, you would know we could all here go up and get an absentee request. That's fine. And but, in fact, but the previous in. email but did say that she had up, never gotten one. It, it immediately vitiates that that vote. Okay. But the, the, the rumor mill that got started for this was well, clearly to this discredit. Is just, this is just a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. It doesn't even belong here. This is election. This is election stuff, not town business, Neil. So I know this, you're running for election and you're trying to hop yourself I, I'm, I'm not going to engage it if you don't want me to, but discrediting your own sitting town uh, clerk. To no, me, she should didn't, be said she didn't do that. She did not That's do that. Exactly what happened. I hear wrong. Thank you, Thank you wrong. Neil. All right. Anyone else? Any other public comments? Now we'll move on to highway. Great, Randy. Um, I had a small list. Now that other things have brought up, I'm going to address some of them at the end of this. Um, back to my beginning list. I spoke last meeting about Graymont being closed. They are closed. Um, we are next week purchasing, I say we, the county, town of Lake Pleasant, and the town of Wells purchasing as much as we possibly can of the stone that's on the ground down there. Uh, the county is bringing a loader down there that's going to give us a discount. Um, the town 
of wells is going to bring another loader down there to assist so that we can load trucks faster because we are going we have a week to get as much stone out of there as possible that's the understanding in which i have um the town of lake pleasant is going to be purchasing almost well 3700 tons of material from there um how far will that go that will get us that that's basically this year's budget for stone um the significance of this is it's exactly half of the hauling that we would need to do if we bought it directly from uh, Delaney, which is the next closest. So the amount of stone, obviously, is you know the same amount, but we'd be paying time and money and wear and tear twice as much. Plus, the towns and the county are going to do it as a joint in this shared services. So that means nine county trucks plus three trailers are going to be helping haul our stone. Granted, we are going to be helping them also with our three trucks. Okay. Um, but weigh the odds of what's actually the numbers that's going to get hauled by the county or what's going to get hauled by the town. This is a win-win situation for us. Right. So we're taking a full advantage of it. Has there been any discussion as far as what might happen next year? It is closed. They don't. They're not even taking comments about opening it up again, um, unless some peer pressure gets applied to them greatly. I don't think <coughs> that's going to happen. Um, they're talking, you know, completely closing it up and securing it, and that's that. They're not going to pull their mining permits okay, from the APA plane, and stuff. We blame the if they shut mine down. Right. They're just going to shut the doors and say we're not using it at this point in time. Right. Now, how many years that goes on with the APA allowing that, I don't know. Has anybody thought about the towns that use that pit buying it? Joining I don't together believe to buy this is this is what I was told by the salesperson. It's not for sale. Yeah. Oh, okay. And if it was for sale, the only way they would sell it is to sell the entire Greymont company, which Barrett bought. Mm -hmm. which is nine pits and three blacktop plants. So odds are nobody's going to want I mean, Okay. They bought it because they wanted the other resources, and this was just, you know, a fringe that was there, and when it ran out of stone, they decided that it wasn't making money. So that's... Oh, it ran their, out of stone? It didn't run... They'd have to go back and blast. Oh, okay. And the expenses. Okay, you know. gotcha. So they used it up for what was available, and said, okay, we're done. Um, so that's that. Um, I also spoke of, I do believe, the new truck. Um, we've had a minor couple little hiccups, nothing that slowed the project down. This Wednesday, I'm hoping to receive a phone call that is completed and on its way back to New York State. Um, and then it has to go to, it should be stopping in Syracuse, getting inspected, go up to Watertown to get the plows put on it, literally just pinned on it, and then brought to here sometime next week. That's how it should work. Whether or not it does, I don't know. Um, we are starting our prep work for the paving, ditching, and so on and so forth. Um, dig safety, or 811 dig is way behind, so I haven't gotten the okay on a lot of the roads to do such things. Um, Moffitt's Beach Road. Um, we've had many discussions about this in the last two years. It has been completed today, the quote-unquote paving project, um, funded by DEC, carried out by the county, and we um, did shared services. We put culverts in and trucking and a little bit of backhoe work. Um, we being the town of Lake Pleasant. Today we finished what's going to be done with it. Um, and I, it's 100% better than what it was. And we'll see how it holds up. Hopefully they put a top coat over it either next year or the year after. We should start so, working on that now. Correct. Uh, but right now, if anybody wants to go for a ride, that's 
It's a very nice road right now. <laughs> we're going out with a motorcycle though. No, no, don't no, run right out and do it with a motorcycle. Um, next, I met with a gentleman today from contracted through National Grid. Trees on Golf Course Road. Uh, anybody that's been down Golf Course Road has noticed there's a lot of birch trees leaning over that are dying and or not dying but leaning over the right away, which is also conveniently leaning over the power lines. And next, well, possibly this week, I might as well say next week, the tree company is supposed to be in and cut all those trees down. There's about 12 trees down through there alongside the fairway um, that they are going to take down. They are going to do all the chipping and our part of this is they asked us to pick up the logs and disperse of them. So I agreed to that. Um, that should be next week. So that would have ended my statements. But that picture that you took, mm -hmm. the tree that's down over the top of the right of way, mm -hmm. um, earlier this spring I noticed it was leaning. Obviously now it needs to be addressed. So there is now the town of Lake Pleasant's tree leaning over the top of, by the looks of this, somebody else's property. Which means it's our responsibility to get this tree out of here. And just, I am not 100% sure, but I would say it's way beyond our comprehend, you know, abilities to get this tree that's hung up in these other trees out of there. So what does the board want me to do? To get prices on a tree service to pull that out of there? Or assess and come back? I would hate to see it crush that fence. Um, I think Bob can verify this. There's some new owners of the property that it's waiting on, correct, Bob? Where's that? The old Innerman property. Oh, I, I honestly don't know yet. It hasn't been recorded, to my knowledge, to be. Okay. Maybe we should look into that real quick, because I understand uh, it's been sold and it's going to be renovated. Right, but either way, this is our yeah. tree. It doesn't look like that big a tree in this picture. Oh, I think that looks like a pretty big picture. No, it's a different picture. Yeah. This is a different picture than that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> that makes a difference. <laughs> I'm like, no, no, no. This, I know what tree this is. And it was about a 45 degree angle saying, last time I looked yeah, at it. Yeah, you Okay. We hire either Kevin Elkin yeah, we don't have the cemetery or such or Gary Garrow or something. Can't you get yeah. the people doing the other work? You know, so. Well, that's, there's a good, good chance of that, but I, I don't know. That's, that's, we can see what they'll say. Um, I got to go down and look at it, see if it's how bad it is, but I think we should definitely address this situation. Mm -hmm. At least it should be dropped so nobody walks under it. Right. And, or damage to other people's property. Right. Yeah. Anything else? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> speed zone situation. Or speed limit, I should say. We, as a town, can ask the county to forward to the DOT a speed zone to, to restrict the speed in certain areas also. Not the whole road. And that's obviously what's been done. In 45, they're saying it's for the whole road. That's the only paperwork I have. We can reduce it at either end or whatever. I, I just want to know if the board wants to look into that. If you want me to start the paperwork mm -hmm. to slow people down in the campsite areas. Or is it that all the taxpayers that you know feel they should have the whole road slowed down? Well, Billy... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think, think part of your concern is the upper end of Page Street also, where there's some homes yes. with young kids. Yes. So that's when, can we do a speed zone in both ends? Yeah, ends. it's just like the county road, there's 55 on the back side of the lake, and then it's yeah. 40 on both ends. Would that be something that would be... Uh, up to you guys. Well, anything's got to well, help. Yeah, your opinion, uh, yeah. you brought it up to us, I'm wondering what your yeah. thoughts are. Something needs to be done. So, mm -hmm. Because the 45 thing, obviously... Yeah. It's not working. How we look into um, that then? We can do a speed zone to 35 or 40, whatever. I would say 35 myself, but Could you do obviously who am I? Um, so 35 is 45. <laughs> yeah, I like right? that idea. Right? Yeah. 
<laughs> Randy, two speed zones that meet in the middle. You're good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be realistic here, but something like actually you know, happen. If we could get it lowered from like Zeke's house to Route 8, that right. would be a huge improvement. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you think it would be easier to get it? Beyond the corner by Carol's. <laughs> that should be slowed down, yeah. Yes. Right, because of the intersection on yeah. the outside. Right. Uh, the, what do you think, Bill? The next thing is, oh, you want me to start that paperwork? Or? Why don't we? Why don't we look into it and see what? Mm -hmm. um, what I brought up earlier in the public comment area was renovating the side shoulder of the road wider for walking traffic. It is our right away. We can do that. We used it used to use it for snowmobile trail the entire way. Um, it's, uh, you know. I think the first step would be to try, in my opinion, try it with a lower speed limit and see how that works I, out I if it's still think, a problem. Yeah, get, get the speed limit lowered first before you encourage any walking right. traffic on there. Although they do walk on the way. Yeah, doing steps. Okay. See if we need to follow through the. Alrighty, All right. that's what I will do. Got it? Yep. Thank you. We'll move into old business. I know Dan has got other things to do tonight, so I put him at the top of the old business uh, <coughs> agenda. Dan Fights, you're our assessor. I lost Dan my Dorsen. voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, thanks for having me. Thanks, Danny. Yeah. Um, just, just a quick introduction, just so you know who's talking and you know, come with a little bit of um, education. But I was a 30-year banker. Uh, I've assessed in uh, Vermont for three years and I've assessed in New York for three years. I was certified as an assessor in Vermont and, and one course short of being uh, a certified in New York. So with that said, I just wanted to take a moment as, uh, for Danny asking us about the right of way, any right of way. When you buy a piece of property, you buy, you buy rights to that property. You have the right to possess it, right, right to uh, sell it, right to control it. And, um, and there's a few others, but I mean, it goes on and on, and it's very complicated. A right-of-way is a legal right to go over and access uh, another person's property, which varies from per permission. For example, if we get specific with the golf, cars, golf course right-of-way, some people have the right to go over it, and some people have permission from the town to go over it. That permission can be at anybody's, or particularly the board's, discretion and the towns can be wiped out tonight. They never can relinquish people's right to go over it. And that's why it has an inherent value, an inherent value to the person who has that right in their deed. I'm going to digress with something and I'm sure someone's going to ding me for it. You, you should talk to another real estate attorney because you can do a deed of release. That's an opinion. I'm not an attorney, but you should investigate that further if you if you really want to give up your um, right of way. Um, check with a real estate attorney. I think you can do it. But um, with that said, there's not much more you know as a pre uh, presentation that I have unless you know, unless you have a specific question. But I just wanted to make I'll, I'll take it. There's a difference between a, 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 a right to go over somebody's property or permission. Okay. You're saying that the board right now could say that the only people that can use that right of way now are the deeded right of way owners. I, I'm, I'm trying to stay away from legal matters. What I'm saying is whoever owns that property, being the town or someone else they, they may or may not sell it to. Mm -hmm. um, for example, if they sold it, the person that, that um, buys it could say, I don't want anybody going over it. And only the people that have the right of way to go over it can go over it. I mean, that, that's what I want to say. I'm trying to stay away from what you can and can't do. <laughs> but, yeah, does that answer your question? Mm -hmm. Okay. And my, my whole deal is that I think that it is not ethical, moral, or whatever to let everybody in the world go on a piece of property that I'm paying for twice and that and that's that right okay right. and that's where I'm coming from okay 
Do you know the assessed value of that property? And if, for instance, I owned it, what would my taxes on that property be? I believe, if, but my research is correctly, the, the value of that lot that's owned by the time is valued at 63, assessed at 63,000. So, if you own it, 63,000, how you figure out your tax is you take the value of the property divided by 1,000, whatever they, so 63 times whatever the tax rate is. I think the tax rate combined with school, town, and everything is 15% or roughly that. If you add them all up, no, school tax, town tax, county tax, fire, all that. Um, so you take 63 times 15, so you can do the math, that would be the tax. Uh, consequence of owning it. So if that piece of property were indeed sold, not held by the town, mm -hmm. to me or anyone else, it would go on not, the tax roll. It would then generate income for the town. It would indeed. Thank you all for coming. No, <laughs> <laughs> no really. No, I, I know it's near, near and dear to your heart, but I really am trying to, you know, keep things, you know, factual and not opinionated. Did I answer you pretty much? Okay. Thank you, Dan. Good? All right. Very good. Do you if I exit? Yeah. Because the, the Bruins are going to win tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll move on, move on to the second item on the agenda under old business, and that's the uh, computer and the software proposals. I know I announced last night at or the last meeting that I did order the two computers, but since there's been some question on uh, warranty and the setting up of the computers, so I've canceled the order. And if everybody feels um, the best way to go would to would be to hire or purchase them from the person that's going to be doing the maintenance and the work on them. Um, it would be my suggestion that we do we go in that direction. Any questions from the board? Uh, the person that you placed the order with, the, the price that he gave us did not include getting them all set up and running and transferring all the programs and everything. It did. It did. Yes. Okay. I wasn't clear on that. Mm -hmm. It was on. That was in the proposal. <coughs> I don't remember seeing it. So, in order to get this moving and get it done, if you feel more comfortable purchasing the computers from the person doing the maintenance on them, and, and uh, I'm going to move it. We give the whole shebang to Pete Newell just to get this over with them behind us. That's I'll second the. No? Yeah. No? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're all in favor of purchasing the, the equipment, and okay. Thank you. But um, the uh, scope of work is what we decided at the Yeah, um, actually, if you want to uh, want me to give a quick review, or you can. Go ahead, Chris. Okay. You, you have it. This is following, um, this wasn't following the last meeting, but I think it was the last meeting in April. Um, the board went into executive session to discuss uh, computer contracts. Two proposals have been submitted to us, and we had quite a lengthy session discussing each proposal and what each firm was saying they would do for us and how much money and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And the upshot was that that evening, we reached an, an understanding on what we wanted to do, although we did not vote on it at that time. And I sent out the following email to everybody to make, and said, you know, let's see if this is correct. We agreed to. And it was by two new computers, um, purchased six external hard drives. The two, two new computers are going to be replacing two very old computers. And they will come with Windows 10 Pro, is it, Pete? Yeah, Windows 10, 10 Professional. Professional, yeah. Which is the way we have to go because it looks like Microsoft is no longer going to be doing Windows 7. for like another five years. Windows 10. 
Oh, yeah. For regular people, they're going to be doing just the Windows Pro, I think. No, I don't think so. That's not the way it's, you see it? Yeah. Well. They're actually adding a few things to the Windows 10. I don't call it Windows 10 Home. Windows 10. A little more control over the updates, although you still can't stop them. Um, and that's the only thing I know of that's the big difference. Um, and, but... Anytime you're in a, a business environment, an office environment, network environment, all that software, there's just maybe some little subtle thing. There's not really much. If you sat down in front of Windows 10 or Windows 10 Pro, you wouldn't know the difference. But there's right. some, little, some little differences in networking and things like that. And a lot of times <coughs> you run into a problem with business programs. And they all will tell you that they want Windows 10 professional. Mm -hmm. so well, the problem is that the present computers have Windows 7, which is not supported as of 2020. Well, the, the problem, yeah, the problem with Windows 7 on paper is that as of January 14th of next year, Microsoft is going to stop issuing updates. And theoretically, that makes it less secure. And when Windows 7, or when Windows XP, when they stopped with Windows XP, there was all kinds of dire warnings about it's going to be unsecure and there's going to be all these viruses, and it didn't really happen. Uh, but the fact is, that was one of the reasons why some of the ransomware attacks happened. Um, because there was a patch with the newer versions that did get put in Windows 7, I mean Windows XP. Uh, so, yeah, so Windows 7, usually you cannot, if it's, unless it's a real low, low end, low spec computer, you can, uh, I've done several updated to Windows 10, but you know, if you want new ones, you get new hardware and a warranty. So, I'm still using Windows XP for a couple things. Uh, they stopped <coughs> support from Windows Vista two years later. I'm still using that for some of my digital communication software. And it's actually nice because Vista isn't updated. Microsoft isn't screwing around with it and changing it, so I know it's not going to change. But uh, I haven't heard anything about discontinuing any version of Windows 10. They change it every six months. And, and that's okay. every yeah, guess I'm wrong. They change it every six months with it. The, the last thing I just read was there's now a list of about 15 things that the May Windows 10 update could screw up. Okay, but, well, the bottom so line is we're going to get new computers, one for the town clerk and one for the zoning enforcement officer. And we're going to be getting six external hard drives for on-site backup and they will be doing that automatically and um, Pete will also set up a cloud backup service account so we'll have three copies of everything every day and the idea being of course if the, everything bites the dust we have no problem getting up and running again and uh, going to update the DEC computer that Debbie uses to issue hunting and fishing licenses to Windows 10. Yeah, well, Pete will also, I if you out can. That one that I wouldn't even try. Oh. I would switch that over to Linux Mint because it's secure, stable, and all you're doing is using a web browser to interface. Well, that's something the board disagreed on, Pete. They don't want to Well, then you have Linux. to buy another Windows 10 computer. Or well, take we'll take one of the, one of the ones, ones we're replacing and use there. You know what I'm saying? But then you're doing. still at Windows 7, which is unsupported. Uh, well, we'll just... There's and some I, discrepancies I, I don't, here. I'm not sure what your objection is, is to <coughs> go, going away from Windows. Uh, it's, it's a perfect solution. I think it's unfamiliarity with, with well, Windows So Maybe we can discuss that. We should discuss that later. I can show you. I mean, it's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, Pete's you also going to create an inventory of the town's yeah. front office equipment. 
which apparently has never been done. And he will be on town on call for emergency calls. And also he will be our regular maintenance person for all the computers the town owns, except highway department. Because Randy takes care of his own computer. <laughs> Is that correct? Okay. And they will all have uninterrupted power supplies now. So that's all that that's about. So the only thing that wasn't specifically on that list was the installation, which we would just have to add a few hours well, for that. Yeah, you had um, I mean, some information about that. Me, you know. Yeah. But, yeah. So that's what it is, and uh, we, I would make a motion that we adopt this. And <coughs> You saw it. You got your email? Mm -hmm. Okay. I just didn't, I, I didn't know. I know you saw it. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I make a motion that the board award the contract to Pete and based on this understanding. Right. And I'll second. second. Uh, Nancy's. Yeah. All in favor? All right. Uh, Further you know, discussion? The only question I have is that Brian has a cloud backup on the account clerk. Uh, and yours right now. Correct. How do we? Is that something you can take over somehow, or we just we'll still have back them all up to the same cloud yeah. account and okay. undo so, his? Okay. All right. Very good. Is there any other old business? We'll move into new business. Uh, First thing I have under new business is the, uh, the Lake Pleasant Emergency Management Plan has been updated. Um, it's been since 2007 since it's been reviewed. Uh, a lot of time, a lot of effort went into this, both fire departments, uh, Chris and I, and uh, a number of people. Um, Bill, I have a copy, your copy for the fire department. I'll give it to you just after the meeting, and uh, anybody would like to look at it, it'll be in, in the supervisor's office uh, for review. Well, we're going to have to vote on that too, right? Vote to. Uh, Doesn't the board have to vote to accept it? Mm -hmm. not, so I don't good. know. Do we need to accept it? I don't know. I would think so. It's just an update of what we had. Mm -hmm. Although we do have to. Um, we should approve the uh, MOU with the school that is part of that, oh, that's true. which basically uh, states that their mission is to make the school buses available to facilitate the transportation of peoples within the town of Lake Pleasant and Village, especially to safety when their well-being is threatened by the circumstances of a disaster, emergency, whether caused by nature or man. So as long as we... I have a motion to approve this memorandum. I move. And by Chris. And second. Chuck Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, Was there any addition in that plan to the use of the library for? Because that was discussed from time to time. But. It was discussed when we were putting the plan together, but because the, the only time the library is available in an emergency is when the library is open. So that is addressed in there, but that's as far as that goes. Okay. Want me to send you the plan? Please. Can you do that electronically? Mm hmm. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I thought we'd have to vote on it not at this meeting, but the next meeting. So Dan just gave me the copy of the plan. Okay. And this is signed, so give that to Debbie for file. Uh, the next thing I had was an agreement between the the uh, village and uh, the town for the literally it's called the waste agreement. So that apparently, it has been updated. Not that I know of this year. Okay. Uh, it's basically the same old waste agreement that was from the past, it just needs to be updated. Um, and I'll uh, entertain a motion to to sign the old waste agreement. 
by the board. I'm just curious. It says Lake Pleasant speculator haul waste agreement. Does that mean we're doing things jointly, or does this just mean that well, for they're taking our water? Yeah. So that's why. It's oh, okay, gotcha. This is our um, oh, from oil point. separated wa mm -hmm. water that's going. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Thank you. It's basically just an update of the. Before we, uh, I guess, in the discussion, I have a question. Oh, yeah. um, when this was brought out originally, Neil would probably know as much as I do, we didn't know how much water we were going to be bringing there. The fees were set and so on and so forth. The agreement was signed and we've been doing what, as of what we're going to do now, passing it along. I'm just asking is maybe we should go back to the village board and ask if this can be done since the new state philosophy is shared services, if there's something we can do about these fees. Well, the it's fee, not a lot of fee, don't get me wrong. The fee is but one dollar. Fee. And then you read in there, there's you get yeah. per gallon. No. Yes. <laughs> no, somebody hasn't updated me. Randy, <laughs> didn't the village decide to do that contract for a dollar just to make it legal? Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah, I didn't know this changed. Villages ahead of me. Perfect. Works for me. Yeah. Go on agreement to sign the uh, all the ways. Okay. Take care of that. Uh, Debbie, I'll get you a copy of signed that after it's signed by the uh, village. So, for the records. You know, do you need a motion on that? Uh, it's a yes. contract, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, yep. We have a motion. I'll move it. Motion by Chris. Second. Second by Mike. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you to the ending of the village board. I had anything to do with that. <laughs> Thank you to the village. Anybody oh. that was on the village board to change that from a fee to a yeah. legal status. Perfect. Okay. Uh, we all. The board received a letter from LPSA about hiring a boat steward under the same provisions uh, as used previously before the uh, grant program that ran out this year. They're asking that we uh, follow the same provisions that were done in the past. We believe we have $5,000 budgeted and they have the remaining funds to uh, support this um, steward. And I uh, would entertain for a motion to uh, to move forward with this. Any questions? Nancy? Okay, that is the just the five thousand that we're that we Correct. have budgeted. Yes. Okay. Then is there really any need to agree to it? I mean, it's already it's a budgeted. contract also. Uh, oh. it's, again, we're contracting with OPSA. Mm -hmm. okay. I'll move. Moved by Chris. I'll second. Said by Nancy. All in favor? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Is there any other new business? More formal. Hearing none, I'll entertain for a motion to pay the bills then. I'll move. Moved by Nancy. Second. Second by Mike. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Hearing none. And we're back to public comments again, anyone? I just forgot to bring one thing up. Um, July 6th is the parade. Um, it's more of a double question. Uh, last year, uh, we purchased soda and water to sell. Um, I'm, this is more of a question for Dan and to see if they want to join. Our, does the Lions Club want uh, a youth rep to do the drink club again? To I sell don't. drinks again with them? I just left a message with Donna today. We okay. haven't been able to get adequate participation and volunteers. 
so we're reluctantly going to have to say no to food. Okay. I will uh, then talk to Donna and see if she wants me as just for the direction at, um, in correlation with you guys to sell the drinks and stuff. Sure. Okay. Yeah. That okay. works. Okay. Anyone else? Um, count table, Deb. Anything? No. Nancy? Well, I'd just like to say we have a new business in town. Um, Amy Lawrence Hair Salon. I guess it's Amy Lawrence. I forget what it's called. But it's um, at the Four Corners, and it's very nice to see a new business come in. Yep. Chris? I don't have anything. Mike? No. Randy? Uh, any reason to go into executive session? No. Nope. Hearing none, then uh, I'll entertain for a motion to adjourn. Oh, I've, let me let me get one thing here. I'm sorry, I missed one thing. There's been an opening on the planning board. Uh, we found one person interested, Gary Wicks. And uh, I'll uh, ask the board's uh, approval to uh, appoint him to the planning board. Anyone? No? We have a vacant seat. Uh, okay. We still have a vacant seat then. Thank you. Uh, we're back to adjourn. Uh, a motion to adjourn. I'll move. Who's that, Mike? Second. I'll, I'll second. By Nancy. Okay, thank you, everyone. I don't know how I could do this, but I can't do this. Oh, I'm so gathering the board to have any questions. You guys again? Yeah. 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 You didn't vote on it? No. Why? That's okay. I'll go down tomorrow and take a look.